Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. I'm your host, Theodore Cooper. We are back with another video, this time from The Godfather. <laughs> Wasn't planning to do another reaction to Mr. Samuels, but I found this one, thought it was hilarious. Let's get to it. Because uh, Sugar dating? A lot... Sorry? Okay, I'm having a hard time hearing you. And you're, and you're not being clear. Me... You want, you want, do I have Is any perspective? You're asking me, do I have a, a perspective on sugar dating? Yeah, well, I had a question because right now, um, the the guys that I start talking to, I guess they get mad or they have fragile, fragile egos because I don't respond. Um, I, I've been told like in different ways that my communication is, um, yeah. Well, I'm having a hard time understanding you right now. So, I, mean, I don't okay. know what the fuck you're talking about. So, <laughs> get to it. Well, do you have any general advice on sugar dating? General advice For about women? what? I mean, I don't even know the question yet. Like, this, it's a, okay, I guess you can answer like a general question from your perspective of what advice you give to us females in the in this um, in this um, area of dating. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you are you sugar, are you trying to sugar? Yes. Sir. Um, I hope you are extremely attractive because talking to you will be a pain. <laughs> I am. Um, right. Thankfully. Well, then, then I hopefully you're really, really good in bed because, truthfully, dear, most sugar daddies right. don't want to just have it. You're gonna have to have a conversation with a man. Right. No, I can conversate. But you, ha but not really. You haven't been able to conversate or converse. I don't understand what you're asking. We're speaking together now. No. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time, and then you can check the little sassy attitude shit too. I don't do that with women. That's true. I think that's yeah. Yeah, I don't do that shit with women. It's very natural. So I yeah, don't... well, look, and and it would, and you get the right person, they're gonna knock the furniture out your mouth. Facts. I'm just being honest, man. If you're gonna sugar, you need to deal with men who can have the money to sugar. Don't put up with sassy I... sugar babies. Yeah, that's true. I noticed that. Exactly. That's why I said I hope you're very attractive because beauty gets you time. But at the end of the day, you have what I said at the beginning, a communication problem. Let me ask you this. Were you raised with your father? Nope. Um, no. <laughs> he, he lives down the street. No, you were not raised with your father. I mean, so, uh, okay, it, it, look, look ma'am, it's just a statement of fact. Either he was in the home or not. It's okay. He was active. All right, in the house. so how's your relations with how's your relationship with your father? Well, no, I'm not speaking to him. Exactly. So and and women who tend there you to communicate with men like you have issues with men that come stem from daddy. You need therapy. <laughs> this chip th therapy just to walk around in the world. And interact with men of the of this of, of of the human race, because we're not your dad, and we don't all want something from you. Even though, if you're an attractive woman, most men want to have sex with women. Period. So, whatever your the issues are, your daddy issues, your issues of communication with men, you need to tackle those just so you can have better interactions with men. You shouldn't have been having a contentious conversation with a stranger. And that's a great point by Mr. Samuels. I just said this on a video I did last week when KS interviewed Ja Rule. I said the same thing in that video is that a lot of these women didn't grow up with father around and didn't have a male role model or anyone in the family to interact with. So then they become older, even well into their adulthood. You've made it contentious. You've done that. That's true. I've talked to plenty, talked to women all night and been cordial patient professional but you you almost seem like you want to get into an argument i mean i don't know and it tends to be so therapy will be good um, right i mean i i don't want to be like the woman that you know you talk to though because that's just i what? feel like their their spirit is gone well the women i talk to don't like men the point. No, but you just said I don't like men, right? But the woman I said you, you have to, daddy issues. Hey, daddy the issues. Talk to, like, I said you, you have daddy you know? I, Okay, you have. Sounds like you have daddy issues. And a listening problem. And the women whose spirits are gone tend to not like men. If you continue down this path, 
without addressing the issues that animate your fears or your anxiety, your spirit will leave too. No, thank you. I rebuke. Okay, you can rebuke it all, but it's a very, very practical process. We're 49% of the population and relationships are reflective. You reflect and draw the kind of men that uh, you reflect, you, you draw what you are. So if your interactions are chaotic with men, what do you want from a man? Because you say you're sugaring. How long? Okay, let me two questions. Yeah. How long do you plan on to sugar? Indefinite period. Oh, Couple there's, a, years. there's always a definite I mean, it, period. It could be. No. I, yeah, I see, I, see, I see what you're saying. You can't eat sugar, long. baby, at But I mean, 70. I know, I definitely know the people that, you know, yeah. I know the people question. that, okay, I could oh. say, you know, up until Jada, Pink, Jada Pinkett's age, Holly Berry's age. What? Because I, I have a baby face that I'm growing into. All right. So, so you think, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You're a Caucasian woman? No, sir. What's your race? What's your ethnicity? I'm African American. All right. Your name is Sophie. And you want to be, sh why would you want to sugar until your 50s? Great point. Great question. Because I actually enjoy it. That's the thing. <clears throat> so by sugaring, you're going to have a, you're going to have a, transactional relationship with a man that's fine but after you've aged out of sugar possibilities mm -hmm. what that's is the rest uh true. listen i rebuke i rebuke you're about to i'm about to say something to you say it I'm do it fuck about your rebuking the clock counts for everybody Right. Simmer down, please. I'm not this other woman, please. Look, bitch. <laughs> Listen, you are gay. Yeah, you bitch. Study. Get off my phone, bitch. <laughs> I don't even give you bitch. I give you bitch. <laughs> you a bitch. Kick rocks, bitch. <laughs> 50 year old sugar baby can you imagine god bless america any man who runs into that bitch <laughs> you can rebuke all you want you can't rebuke the demon you are satan <laughs> that woman is does finished i don't want to be the women whose spirits are gone you're that because I asked her the question, she didn't want to answer. What happens when you're too old to sugar? Oh, oh, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. No, no, it's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> you're sugar babies, you fool. <laughs> Who's going to be your sugar daddy? 90 year olds? They don't That's think. What you mean? But what, you really, what she really has to say is, oh my God, once I, once I can't. Yep. Get, a, get some money off my so-called looks because I don't have a personality enough to get me a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Matter of fact, I can't even hold a conversation so I damn sure can't get nobody to sit around and talk to me. Yep. But once I can't sugar anymore, I'm by my fucking self right. until I ambient and, and wine it out. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace to the Godfather, bro. That's it. If you guys have been following the podcast for a while, you know, one thing that I always like to do is try to see what we can learn from any interaction that we see. That's how I feel 98% of the time. But in other times, I'm just here for the jokes. And this was one of them. As I stated, this make the second sound bite I think we discovered while watching the video. So that's always dope. And about the lady, she started off the conversation stating that her sugar daddies or whatever say that she has a communication problem. It took quite a while before Mr. Simons was even able to pull out the reasoning for her call. She sucks at communicating. Then has the nerve to have an attitude as well. And then when she didn't like what Mr. Simons had to say, of course she had to throw the gay allegation out there. But, but I'm glad enough of us men have seen this content and got to the point where we don't let those insults get to us and also remember fellas as soon as they have to start name calling and they come with the sign language you already know you've won the argument but you guys let me know what you think at the party in the comments my name is theo coop but you can call me bitches do better
Uh, excuse me, bitches? 